This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance purposes. Oh, test out to get our license. Then will we be responsible for that amount or no? Yeah, yes, you will. Uh, you normally, I think you get two to three chances, but uh, at this point, I think since we started our school, I know of only two people that actually didn't pass their test. Okay, so, but if... if and they were given... Well, let me... Welcome to the Recruiter Call channel where we make the call for you. And in today's segment, we're going to be looking at trucking companies that offers CDL training. That means if you don't have your CDLs, these companies will help you get them while at the same time give you a job after you get them. Let's see which companies that offer these CDL training programs are good with you hey we're looking at pam transport yes sir pam transport they do offer cdl training so if you don't have your cdls today you can call up pam transport and see if they can help you get your cdls just know that if you don't continue if you don't complete the program just know if you don't complete the obligation, they will blacklist you as far as not telling the next company that you have received the amount of CDL time required for the school. I'm Transport. This is Barbara. How may I help you? Hello, may I speak with a, a recruiter, please? Or may I speak with someone that I can learn a little bit more uh, about the CDL training? Yeah, I'm a recruiter. Oh, Where are you calling from? I am out of Ohio, uh, but I'm, me and my partner, we're, we're interested in getting our CDLs. So we came, you know, we came doing some research and we came across you guys. And I just want to get a little bit more information, if I may. Yeah, sure. Awesome. 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 So, yeah, we have a, a four week program. So your first week would be online from home. Those are the those are study links to help you get your permit. However, uh, I always recommend that you start studying before that so you can, um, you know, either get your permit or, or get it soon after we send you the virtual link. Uh, once you get your permit and we do drug screen, physical, and all that good stuff, uh, we bring you to Arkansas. You'll be there for at least three weeks until you graduate. You'll take your test in Arkansas. However, we'll transfer the results to your home state so you can pick up your CDL from your home state. Awesome. So you do end up with um, you know, a local license. Now, um, you don't get paid while you're in school, so you have to make sure you're prepared for that. However, we pay for your schooling 100%, so we're never taking it out of your paycheck. And we pay for uh, travel, hotel, and you'll get a $100 gift card uh, for the first three weeks that you're in Arkansas to use for food. Okay. 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 Um, so we don't, we, we don't get paid for the schooling, but you do get us up there. But what, so is that what the hundred dollars stife is about? Um, because it says here that you get a hundred dollars, uh, every week. So that's the gift card thing just for the food. Yeah, that's a gift card to use towards food, and then you'll have breakfast at the hotel. Oh, okay, so it's like continental breakfast at the hotel, and then the hundred dollars that we get every week, we gotta spread it out for that week. Okay, okay. Uh, so right. So for the three weeks, we're we're up there. You you guys don't have, you know, me and him works, but. You guys don't have, so this will be three weeks that we got to take three weeks off. Y'all don't have no weekend or anything like that? Well, yeah, you're not going to, you're not going to go to school on the weekend. You'll have the weekends free. If you want to uh, 
you know, drive your vehicle to school. You could do DoorDash or something like that on at you know during the night or weekend. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so we don't uh, so we don't receive pay. How um, how would you guys get us up there? Uh, what what would be the travel arrangements? We would buy you a bus ticket, or if you did buy, bring your car, we would give you um, reimburse you a hundred dollars for the gas. Okay, you know we're from Ohio, right? <laughs> It's going to be more than a hundred dollars right, to get out of Arkansas. To understand. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Right, but I mean, uh, most schools most schools don't give anything, and most schools don't give you know money for food. Um, and here's the thing: uh, most schools don't pay a hundred percent of your schooling. We're paying a hundred percent. Like, where can you get a free education worth upwards of six thousand dollars? Plus your hotel and travel for free, completely free. Like, yeah. where can you do that? Uh, I wish I could have done that. <laughs> yeah, but there's there's always, you know, my moms tell me that nothing is completely free. So what's what will be our obligation? Well, that's not true. Okay. Well, the obligate the in exchange for that, you would uh, contract us. For 12 months, you would have to work for us to tr for 12 months. But that's a job. You're guaranteed a job after school. And mm -hmm. right now, there are no, I don't know of any trucking companies, including us, that are taking recent graduates. Okay. So if you, let's say you went to a truck driving school on your own and paid for it yourself, you, you probably wouldn't find a job right now. Okay, okay, that's that's fair. So let me ask you this. Yeah. Since the since the fair has changed is no giveaway, what how how many times are we are we able to test out? So for well, first let me back it up because would we test out in a in a manual? Because you know, we talk to some veteran drivers out here and they tell us to test out in a manual because our license will be restricted if we test out in a, in an automatic. So will we be able to test out yeah, in a manual? Well, at this point, no. At this point, we're all automatic. And here's why. Most, and I mean, maybe all trucking companies are all automatic at this point. Uh, all of the manual trucks are being phased out. The manufacturers just aren't even really making them for trucking companies anymore. And uh, so an automatic restriction will never inhibit you from getting a job because companies don't have manual trucks anyway. Now, if you wanted to uh, lift that restriction later on, all you have to do is rent a truck or borrow a truck and go take, you know, retest on a manual on your own uh, to get that restriction lifted. So it's not like a forever thing. Okay, gotcha. You know, okay. if one day you buy a manual truck. Yeah, well, I was just going to say, if you ever want to buy a manual truck, then, there, you know, you can have that restriction lifted on your own if you want to. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, well, let me ask you this. Since you mentioned that, will we be able to, would I be able to get it lifted through you guys or no? Get it lifted through us? Yes, ma'am. No. No, we don't. Really, we don't have um, manual trucks anymore, uh, except for some of our local uh, day cabs. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. All right. Okay. Now, since we got the, that out if the If you way. want, yeah, I can, uh, if you give me your uh, cell number, I can uh, text you with my cell phone, and if you want to send me your email address. I can send you all the info and the link to my application if you're interested. Oh, well, I'm, I'm driving right now. That's why, you know, me and my, me and my partner is driving. So yeah, I'm, that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm driving. Yeah, no, I'm used to that, but what's your phone number so I can text you? Oh, oh, okay. So this, my phone, you want my phone number. So we're, we're not hanging up now, are we? No, I'm going to take your phone number and I'm going to text you so you have my direct line and then I can send you some information. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Awesome. 216.
So, um, okay, um, you did mention uh, that, you know, the obligations between us and the company uh, has to be about a year or so. But what happened? How, how many times do we get a chance to to test out if possible? Like, let's say if we don't get it the first couple of times, how how many times do we get a chance to test out? And if we don't test out to get our license, then will we be responsible for that amount or no? Yeah. Yes, you will. Uh, you normally, I think you get two to three chances, but, uh, at this point, I think since we started our school, I know of only two people that actually didn't pass their test. Okay. So, but if, if, and they were given, well, let me finish. They were given every opportunity to, uh, for extra practice and extra training, and they uh, just never showed up for it. So, you know, I'm not surprised that they didn't pass. Okay. Now, again, you you just mentioned, so we will be responsible for the for the time spent at the school, though? If so, how much is that? Well, yeah, if you don't, if you go through all the training and all the classes and everything, you're the one that's responsible to pass the test because we've given you all the tools. So we, you know, we would come through with our part of the bargain. So if you don't pass, then uh, you're probably, it's upwards of, it, it's uh, right around five thousand dollars um for the schooling uh i don't you i don't think you would have to re you know reimburse us for anything else like hotel and everything so that would just be a loss for us okay Uh, the money for the hotel and food and travel and everything that would be a loss would that which is a pretty big loss yeah, yeah would that be the same would that be the same if we was to you know get on with you guys and everything and let's say it, the marriage doesn't work out between us, you know, we leave before the the 12 months is up, or if we get terminated before the 12 months is up, then will we also be responsible for the schooling? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, a con- that's, the con- that's the deal. So we pay for everything in exchange for you working for us for 12 months. That's the deal. Okay. Awesome. You know, and so if you're not sure that you want to go with Pam and if you haven't done enough research, then I would suggest you not do it because like I said, uh, especially right now, no companies are going to take you uh, with not enough experience. Plus you, you know, until you're um, until the contract is paid off, you're not going to be able to get your schooling verified. Okay, but we will still. Would you guys take our license back or or anything like that? Or we, we, no. Our, oh, no. Okay. No. Oh, okay. How long? How long does it? Uh, you said it's three weeks, right? So three weeks. Bam, bam, boom. Sign up with the company. Try to get it out. Uh, grind it out for twelve months. Would we go out with a? Would we go out with a trainer? Uh, after after the school. Yes, you'll go out with them. Yeah, you'll go out with a mentor for 18 days. Ooh, 18 days. Oh, okay. Now, you know, being that it's me and my partner, uh, do you guys have, like, tr- uh, team positions there? Like, if me and my partner want to want to team up after we, you know, finish with the trainer and all like that, will we be able to, will we be able to team up, team up after that? Not... Not right away. No, you have to um, drive on your own for uh, between thirty and forty thousand miles, I believe it is, uh, before you can team together. Okay, awesome. Well, well, that's about it. Uh, thank you very much. We we're going to continue to do our our research. So thank you for telling me that. Um, you know, we, we, uh, okay, we're you're trying, welcome. yeah, we're trying to find different, you know, opportunities and different ways that we can earn our CDLs. So thank you very much. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. You're welcome. All Bye-bye. right. All right. That was Pam, everybody. That's who we got finished talking to today. Uh, not an intriguing phone call. Um, I mean, it just felt like she was rushing. Like, I mean, she she gave me some good, uh, you know, information, but it just felt rushed. Like, you know, here, let me just, you know, give you, you know, let me just hurry up and give you the information, rush, rush, rush. And, you know, it's it just sounds to me like, like, you know, standard recruiter-ish, you know, like, it just sounds to me that, you know, you get a, what, what do you call it? What, what do you call that? Um, what do you call a uh, consignment? Yeah, that's, that's, there it is. It's, it's, it's like a consignment. Like, well, let me hurry up, sign you up, bam, 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 move on to the nets. Let me hurry up and sign them up. You know, try to stay on the phone as least as you can. And I and I get that. I understand, you know, because you got a lot of people that's calling you up and, you know, probably asking you the same questions that I'm asking you on a daily basis. You know, that's why you guys got a, uh, a what do you call it, on your, on the website, you know, frequently asked questions. But it just, you know, like, how she started off by saying uh, what school, what company that you're going to go to and you're going to get paid 100 percent or not get paid. I'm sorry. Who's going to pay your school in 100 percent? You know, nobody, nobody. There's always. Listen, let me tell you guys. OK. You're going to always pay no matter what. No matter what, ain't nothing free. Hell, you can't even get a cup of water for free. You got to pay for the cup. Only thing is free is the air that you breathe. That's about it. <sighs> and shit, leave it up to a hustler to try to, 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 to try to hustle that. I'm just saying. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. You know, if you... The, the the breakdown is if you complete a whole year contract. Now, it's, unfortunately, I didn't go in into the breakdown on the contract because, like I said, it just sounds to me that she wanted to hurry up and get off the phone. So, you know, I, who who am I to who am I to try to keep her on the phone? You know, hey, just you know, get, I'm I'm good with the information that you gave me. You know, I'll put all the information in the description below and you guys could give them a call and, you know, try to get more information if possible. But, you know, definitely find out the 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 thing on the um, definitely find out, you know, whether or not they take the money out or they 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 take uh, they take the money out during the time that you drive for them for that year. And they'll, you know, they'll reimburse you or whatever. But if you don't pass the test, you're responsible for about $5,000. That's what she said. Could be more. Could be more. But she said you're responsible for about $5,000 if you don't pass the test. If you don't get your CDL, you got to pay for that. And if you do get your CDL and you don't... uh obliged by the contract for a year you are responsible for the amount now she did say this she did say this right she did say that if you don't finish the 12 years 12 years if you don't finish the 12 months then your school won't be verified that's crazy. So in other words, 
if you go with another company, a starter company, you know, and you try to get in and they try to verify the amount of hours that you got, they won't verify it. So they, in other words, that's a blacklist. So even though I mentioned that to her and she said, no, they don't, but yeah, that's a blacklist because if you don't verify, if I'm a new driver and I get my brand new, fresh out of the packet CDL and you don't verify my hours for my school, then yeah, I can't, I, I, I won't be able to drive for a reputable company. I mean, you know, you'll be able to drive for a black ops or a, uh, you know, smaller firm, but yeah, you, you won't be able to drive for a reputable company if you don't uh, get the school verified. So before we get out of here, let me also point out the fact that she did say that the schooling is not paid for, so you are you're not getting paid while going to school. Everything comes out of your pocket. They'll get you up there by Greyhound. <laughs> but yet if you want to drive, They'll reimburse you $100 for your fuel. Bro, I'm all the way over in Ohio. The place I got to go is to Arkansas, my guy. <laughs> and you only going to give me $100. It's going to be way more than $100 to get up to Arkansas from Ohio. I'm just saying. Um, they do give you $100 a week. While you're going to this, while you're going through the school, but it's only on a gift card. So you probably might get one of them Visa gift cards that you can use for your food. That's about it. That's about it. So just know that if you're working, you're gonna have to take about a four. You're gonna have to take a month off. You're gonna have to take a month off. I suggest if you guys are interested in getting your CDL and y'all deciding to go through a school, uh, a, a trucking company sponsored school to do it, I suggest you guys put in for your PTO and your vacation so that it won't mess up your mess up your uh, your job just in case you don't go, you know, get through the program. Also, find out if you can get back home. <laughs> you know, they over here talking about putting you on a Greyhound. And if you decide to drive up there, they only going to give you $100. So if you're not working and you drive all the way out to Arkansas, just know that they're not going to give you no money to get you back home, bro. I'm just saying. Uh, if you're interested in Pam transportation, their CDL uh, training. If you're interested, the information will be in the description below. Uh, hmm. I, 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 I can't be biased. I can only be the messenger. I can only bring you the information. Uh, if I was to do this all over again, I will probably pass on Pam. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's just me. But Pam out of Springdale, Arkansas, they do have a CDL training for drivers that don't have their CDLs. If you're interested, give them a call. Find out a little bit more. Hopefully it works out for you. Until next time, everybody. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next?